Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a spirit field reading for the sign of Gemini. These messages are general, they will not resonate with everyone. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So Gemini, we're going to jump right into it and see what messages Spirit has for you. So Spirit, what messages do you have for Gemini? Messages for Gemini. Okay. Prepare for the unexpected. Let's get some more messages. I have honor your family in the past. Okay. Gemini, I feel like I heard going through. Some of you are really going through some very unexpected changes when it comes to your family. I feel like spirit is asking you to make your family a priority in this season to heal any relationships that have been broken and to just honor the bond that you have with your family members your mother your father your grandparents honor your family spend time with your family i heard like first yeah make sure that you are tending to the needs of your loved one or loved ones I feel like with the past I heard like a cloud a dark cloud I feel like for someone like there's a dark cloud around you concerning a past situation a past event that you need to heal from for some of you this past event has to do with your family it has to do with your relationship with your family I feel like prepare for the unexpected for some of you what you don't see is that spirit is about to bring healing to your family connections spirit is about to bring healing I heard like soul like soul healing yes you're about to heal from past trauma I heard like childhood trauma I feel like also with this honor your family this is about you gaining a different perspective on what family is, what family means to you. For some of you, you have like detached completely and you don't desire to build a family, to have a family because of the things that you've been through. For some of you, I heard like children, you don't desire to have children because you don't want them to go through the same things that you had to endure. And I feel like spirit is healing that, healing that mindset that you have, healing those wounds that you have so that you can recognize and see the good in family connections and understanding that even though you may have had a bad experience in the past, it doesn't mean that you have to continue to live that experience in the present or future. So let's pull some more messages to go a little bit deeper. Spirit, tell me about prepare for the unexpected. Five of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, for some of you, you're coming out of conflict. You're coming out of conflict with yourself. You're coming out of having doubt, being frustrated. It's like you're going to be able to move, to make um, firm decisions, to know how to move forward when it comes to your life, when it comes to your relationships. I heard connection. I heard marriage. For someone, you're going to be healing a relationship with your significant other, with your spouse. I heard reconciliation. Prepare for the unexpected. What you don't see is this healing that is about to take place. You thought that you were finished. You thought that it was done. It was over. And what you don't see is spirit is bringing you back together. I heard time apart. Spirit is saying 
Time apart makes the heart grow fonder. That's what Spirit said. And God wants you to know that this time apart really helped to bring a lot of balance to both of you. You needed your space so that you can work on yourselves. Let's pull some more messages to go a little bit deeper. Spirit, tell me about this Five of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, her seeing eye to eye, there was just a lot of conflict, a lot of turmoil. You're finally going to be able to make a decision. That's what Spirit says. You're finally going to be able to make a firm decision when it comes to a situation in your life. For some of you, this is about a love connection um, or a family connection. I have the Nine of Swords. Prepare for the unexpected. I feel like for some of you, you're going to be setting firm boundaries. You're going to make up your, in your mind to set firm boundaries with the people that you love, that you care about. I heard taken advantage of. For some of you, you feel taken advantage of by your family members. And you're going to be setting boundaries. Teaching people how to treat you. No longer letting them walk all over you. Let's get a message for the Nine of Wands. I have the world. Yes. This boundary that you're going to be setting is going to create a new cycle in your life, a new beginning, a new chapter. It's like you're making up in your mind. I heard like learning to say no. For some of you, Gemini, you're going to learn how to say no and mean what you say. And by you doing this, you are, I heard blessings. You're getting ready to receive blessings because spirit God did not want to bless you. If you were going to allow people to take those blessings from you, for some of you, you overgave of yourself, of your time, your energy, your money for some of you. And it's like you're making up in your mind to say no more. And by you setting those boundaries, setting those limits, now you can enter a new cycle of blessings, of abundance, of prosperity. Because you're learning how to protect what it is that you have and not to give it away. Let's clarify the world. Spirit, give me a message for the world. I have the hangman. Yes, you've been thinking long and hard about this. You have been thinking about this. You have developed a lot of insight. Again, a lot of clarity. I heard like an aha moment. Yes, you know what you need to do. When you know better, you do better. And you know better, so you are going to do better. You're going to make decisions that are going to benefit you. Prepare for the unexpected. And what you don't see is that these decisions that you're making for yourself, your well-being, your mental, your emotional well-being, your physical, your financial well-being is getting ready to open up a new chapter in your life. One where you're her abundance, one where you're going to be abundant experience abundance where you're going to be happy where you're going to feel free you're going to feel in control of your life of your choices let's get a message for honor your family i have the three of wands in the reverse yeah, for some of you, I heard like a happy family. Things have not been going well on the family front. I feel like you suffer a major disappointment when it comes to a relationship with a family member. And it's like you're not able to move past this. Again, going back to the past, yes, you're not able to move past this situation, past this disagreement that you've had, past what has taken place between you and this family member, between you and this loved one. It's like you're, you just can't get over it, Gemini. You just can't let it go. And this is creating a lot of discord. This is creating a lot of resentment within you. And it's like, I heard like bridge the gap. Yeah, for some of you, you pulled away from your family because of this situation. 
you're not even, I heard, like, on speaking terms with your family or with this family member because you just can't let it go. You feel betrayed in some aspect. Let's get a message for the Three of Wands in the reverse. Look at what I have. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yes. For some of you, this is you not wanting to build a family. Not wanting to have a family. Because of your past experiences. You feel like it's not worth it. It's not worth the time, the energy. Because of the disappointments that you have been through. For some of you, you feel like you don't have enough or you won't have enough to give. If you were to have a family, if you were to have children, you just don't feel like you're, you feel like you're lacking in some aspect. You feel like you're not going to have enough to give. If you were to start a family of your own. Let's get a message for the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Look at what I have. The King of Cups. And I have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So I see this two ways. For some of you, it's like... You feel like you've been like too giving. You feel like you've like let certain family members or a particular family member like walk all over you because they take your kindness for a weakness. And for someone like you've given this family member like several chances because of the love that you have for them. But it's like every time you give them a chance, they end up disappointing you with this wheel of fortune in the reverse. Like you end up being disappointed and you're getting to a point where you no longer want to give to this. Where you feel like, you know what, I just need to pull back. I just need to pull away. I'm recognizing that me and this family member we're never going to see eye to eye. I'm always going to end up being disappoint disappointed or let down in some way. The other way I see this is for those of you, I heard like starting a family. Yes, it's like you want a family with this King of Cups. You you want to give, you want, you know, to, to love and to nurture a family unit. You want a family. You want marriage. You want children. But it's like with this wheel of fortune, I heard like luck. I'm all out of luck. You feel like you're not ever going to be able to have the family that you want. It's like curse. That's what I heard. Curse. You feel like it's some type of curse on you, on your family lineage because of the cycles that you've seen growing up because of the different behaviors. I heard substance misuse for someone. I heard domestic violence for someone. Yeah, it's like a repeated cycle when it comes to your family. And it's like you don't want to repeat that cycle. So it's like, yes, I'm in the King of Cups energy where I want to give. But I'm understanding that there's some cycles that needs to be broken within my lineage before I'm fully ready to have a family of my own because I don't want to pass on the curse to my offspring. That message is for someone. You don't want to pass on the curse to your offspring, the generational curse. Let's get a message for the past. I have the Queen of Cups in reverse. I can't make this up, Gemini. Some of you are still holding on to the past. You haven't healed. You have not healed. You're still holding on. You have not dealt with things from the past. And I heard you're meant to break the curse. For some of you, you're meant to break this curse. You're meant to break this curse. But it's like you can't get over the things that you've seen, the things that you have experienced. You haven't fully healed. 
you haven't fully evolved emotionally let's get a message for this queen of cups in the reverse look at what came out the ten of swords you keep holding on to past hurt past trauma past hurt pain things that people have said have done to you it's like you keep holding on to her grudges it's like you just can't let it go and it's holding you back it's holding you back from getting what you want from having the life that you deserve For some of you, going back to expect the unexpected, what you don't see coming is you're finally going to be able to release, to release all of this. It's going to be a process, but you're finally going to be able to release it, to finally let it go, to work on your emotional body. Taking a time out, the hangman, and really dealing with yourself. Just getting away, getting some time for you. Reflection. Being truthful, honest with yourself. Let's get a message for the Ten of Swords. And this is a very specific message, so it's definitely not going to resonate with everyone. I have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. And again, I heard you don't want to pass it on. Like someone does not want a family. They don't want children because it's like they don't want to pass on that curse. They do not want to pass on those bad habits. I heard addictions. I also have temperance in the reverse. Holding on to the past is creating blockages for you, Gemini. It's creating blockages for you when it comes to your success. When it comes to you having everything that you desire, when it comes to you being balanced within yourself emotionally, having balance in your life, in your finances, mentally, spiritually balanced. Because you're still holding on. And I'm looking at this like honor your family. It's like I heard someone say, I don't want to honor them. I don't want to honor them. Everything that they've done to me. I don't want to honor them. Everything that I've been through, everything that they said to me, everything this person has done, I don't want to honor my family. No, I'm upset. I'm still angry. It's time for you to release the anger. Because ultimately, you're hurting yourself. You're stopping your progress. Once you release the anger, then that is when you will see things flip for you, change for you. That is when you will be able to finally embrace this new cycle of the world. Yes, I feel like with this world being at the beginning, spirit is saying like there's a new cycle that wants to take place for you. That spirit wants to give you a new beginning, a new chapter that spirit wants to give you. But it's like, look at everything that's stopping you from getting to this new beginning. Look at everything that's blocking you. You want this, but it's like you have to do the work. You have to be willing to do the work on your soul. Let's pull some final messages. I am hopeful. Yes. Be hopeful about your future. Be hopeful when it comes to yourself. Be hopeful when it comes to your past. Be hopeful. Like understand that your past does not determine the outcome of your life. It doesn't determine the outcome of your life. It was just an experience. And regardless of how hard that experience may have been to go through, you can all take that experience and use it for your benefits. You're not your past. It was just a moment in time, a season in your life that is now over. You have a lot to gain. Yes, you have a lot to gain. Be hopeful. Your past does not determine your future. Let's get another message.
I have I deserve respect. Again, for those of you setting boundaries with a family member, for some of you, this is talking about a romantic relationship. You setting boundaries with this person, teaching people how to treat you. I deserve respect. And at first it starts with me. It starts with me respecting myself enough to set firm boundaries with people and not allowing people to treat me any way that is undeserving. Not allowing people to just do say anything. No. Demanding respect. Demanding loyalty. If you're going to be in my life, if you're going to be in my energy, that is what I demand because that's what I deserve. But it starts with you knowing that. Let's get one more message. I am blessed. Yes. Beautiful way to close out this reading, Gemini. You're blessed. Spirit says you are blessed. Despite what you've been through. Despite what people have said, have done to you. People who've tried to take advantage of you. You're blessed. You are blessed. Can't you see it? Can't you feel it? Don't you know it, Gemini? That you're blessed. Don't let anything or anyone interfere with your blessings. You are blessed. Walk every day with your head up high knowing that you're blessed. You're blessed to be here on this earth. You're blessed every day that you wake up. You're blessed. Sit and think about all the times that God, the Spirit, has blessed you with the things that you've asked for. You're blessed. Despite what you've been through, despite what has taken place in the past, I'm looking at this picture and I could just see teardrops coming down your face. Tears. You're blessed. Even when you don't feel like it at times, Spirit wants you to know that you're blessed. So Gemini, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.